all right you are welcome again we are tracing complex numbers now let's take this question express each of the following in the form of x plus i y express each of the following in the form of x plus i y a we have one plus i in bracket raised to power four b minus one all over two plus square root of three all over two i in bracket raised to power three so we are asked to express a and b in the form of x plus i y please pay attention to this lesson okay now let's go we have a upper bracket one plus i closure bracket raised to power four now let's expand it so this raised to power four it can be written this way we can say one plus i in bracket times one plus i in bracket times one plus i in bracket times one plus i in bracket that is into four places so when you want to shorten it you can write it one plus i in bracket raised to power four but when you want to expand it you can write it this way okay now let's go okay let's pick the first two brackets and multiply them or let's open the first two brackets so opening the first two brackets we're going to have one times one is one and then one times i is i then i times one is i then i times i is i squared okay now let's open the other two one times one is one one times i is i i times i is i squared okay now we have one plus i plus i will give us two i and then i square is the same as saying what minus one so we have one plus two i minus one also in the other bracket we're going to have the same thing one plus two i minus one okay good so we have one minus one is going to give us what zero so therefore we have two i so in the first bracket we have two i in the second bracket we have what two i so we have two i times two i okay so two i times two i is going to give us four i square so and then you discover that i square is what minus one so we're going to have four times minus one is equal to what minus four so therefore in writing one plus i in bracket raised to power four in the form of x plus i y is giving us minus four it's giving us what minus four that is to say that in this x plus i y that the real part is minus four and the imaginary part is what zero all right let's take the second example second example say so we should express minus one all over two plus square root of three all over two i all in bracket raised to power three in the form of x plus i y please pay attention to this let's go we have minus one all over two plus square root of three all over two i all in bracket raised to power three you know we have three raised to power three right so we can open this bracket into three places that is what it simply mean okay now let's go we will open it in three places we are going to have something like this okay now let's open the first two brackets hmm? the first two let's go we're going to have minus one all over two times minus one all over two it's going to give us one all over four minus we cancel minus all right we have one all over four now say minus one all over two times square root of three all over two i it's going to give us minus square root of three all over four i okay good now we have square root of three all over two i times minus one all over two is going to give us minus square root of three all over four i now also say square root of three all over two i times square root of three all over two i what is going to give us going to give us three all over four i square okay three all over four 
i square let's put this i square in bracket okay now let's go and then let's put this in big bracket now remaining one of our brackets above so we bring it down we have one minus one all over two plus square root of three all over two i okay good now in this our big bracket this one we are expanding let's solve properly okay now we have one all over four minus square root of three all over four i minus square root of three all over four i plus three all over four i square okay now minus square root of three all over four i minus square root of three all over four i what is it going to give us it's going to give us minus square root of three all over two i it's going to give us what minus square root of three all over two i so when you add these two together it's going to give us minus square root of three all over two i then we have three all over four in bracket open bracket i raised to power two so this i raised to power two is the same as what minus one so minus one times three all over four is going to give us minus three all over four so therefore in these are big brackets we have one all over four minus square root of three all over two i minus three all over four okay now in the other of our bracket we have minus one all over two plus square root of three all over two i okay so in this bracket in this first bracket we have one all over four let's add the real part okay we have one all over four minus three all over four so one all over four minus three all over four is going to give us minus one all over two so we have minus square root of three all over two i okay now we have two simple brackets right now we have minus one all over two minus square root of three all over two i another bracket minus one all over two plus square root of three all over two i so let's multiply this bracket so we're gonna have minus one all over two times minus one all over two it will give us one all over four and then minus one all over two times square root of three all over two i is going to give us minus square root of three all over four i then we, when we say minus square root of 3 all over 2i times minus 1 all over 2, it's going to give us plus square root of 3 all over 4i. Now when we say minus square root of 3 all over 2i times square root of 3 all over 2i, it's going to give us minus 3 all over 4i square. Okay? Good. When we say minus square root of 3 all over 4i plus square root of 3 all over 4i is going to give us 0 and then i square is the same as saying what minus 1 then minus 1 times minus 3 all over 4 is going to give us plus 3 all over 4 then we have 1 all over 4 plus 3 all over 4 so 1 all over 4 plus 3 all over 4 is equal to 1 so the expression of minus 1 all over 2 plus square root of 3 all over 2i the all in bracket raised to power 3 in x plus i y is giving us what 1 is equal to what 1 all right thank you very much please let's take more example okay please keep watching